everybody, it's Miss Joy and Happiness. Today we're going to talk about junk. We're in the junkyard and I want to help you salvage your future. We all have junk and I'm not talking about junk in the house, extra clothes, knickknacks. I'm talking about junk up here that's preventing us from moving on and junk in here too. As I look around this junkyard, rusted old, corroded, nasty things, I think of, I think of exes and failures and sorrows and pain, even boo-boos. But you know what? All of this we can overcome with our thoughts and with our prayers. Some of us may look at this junk as just useless, rotten, broken down stuff. But right now, to be quite honest, I'm in a place of reinvention, retransformation. So many people can look at this as junk or others when we look at it differently, can pick up something, anything, and repurpose it, reinvent it, and bring it into beauty. I have done that so many times in my life, I cannot even count. What was broken and had caused me such pain, guess what? It enables me to be even more gifted because I can help others transform their lives into amazing new journeys of discovery. Instead of just dwelling on the negative, we all have so much junk we can reclaim and bring our junk that has brought us down, has caused us so much fear, and we can put it here and give it to God. If I had not done that through, yeah, sure, I have willpower and I have strength, but without God, nothing. I am nothing. He raised me up above my circumstances and he enabled my junk to help so many find their purpose, their drive, their transformation, and they now feel love, empowered, and they are living extraordinary lives. So the next time you want to dwell on the negative, take it from this joy and happiness. I don't know what kind of junk you got in your trunk, baby, but I got some good junk. So why don't you try transforming some of your junk into some amazing new possibilities. So on that note, got some junk. Happy day.